Hey what's up guys, my name is Vishav and you are watching everyone's story. So today in this video, I'm going to rank 10 strongest non-legendary dark type of Pokemon. Since I had already ranked 10 strongest fire, water, grass, dragon, ghost, fairy, electric, ice, fighting and bug type of Pokemon. So be sure to check out those videos also, link of the playlist is in the description box area. And just like previous videos, Pokemons were ranked on the basis of their power level, base stats, anime appearance and their fans following. And I had not included any legendary, mythical or ultra beast Pokemon in this list. So now without wasting any time, let me jump straight to the video. Ok number 10, Absol. He is a pure dark type Pokemon, introduced in generation 3. Since he is not known to evolve into, or from any other Pokemon. Whatever he is also known as a disaster Pokemon, because he can sense any upcoming natural disaster. Despite all this, Absol does have a high attack, with a decent kind of speed. Which make him a good attacker, for competitive battle. However he is not so strong defensively, that's why the trainer have to be so focused while using him. But still he is a worthy Pokemon, which a good amount of fan following too. Now number 9, Weavile. He is a dark and ice type Pokemon, introduced in generation 4 as the final evolution of Sneasel. So an interesting mixer of ice and dark typing. Since according to its Pokédex entry, Weavile hunt in groups like funky two-legged wolves, and they leave scratch marks in trees and boulders, to communicate with each other. However the best things about Weavile is his incredible speed. That results he could almost always get in the first hit, giving you the advantage. It also has strong attack, so combined with its speed it's become a powerful fighter. Consequently just like Absol, he is also not so strong defensively. Number 8, Grimmsnarl. It's a dark and fairy type Pokemon, introduced in generation 8 as the final evolution of Umpadim. So a evil dark and fairy goblin Pokemon, who is actually one of the best attacker Pokemon in Sword and Shield. Since with his awesome powerful attack, he could outstage various opponents. However his defense and speed, is so decent kind of. But still with his great moves, like Darkest Lariat and Brick Break. Grimmsnarl could give our entire Pokemon team, a sense of fear. Although number 7, Umbreon. He is a pure dark type Pokemon, introduced in generation 2, as one of the evolution of Eevee. Since he is one of the most popular Pokemon, in general. Whatever, he have a good HP, and a great defense. Which make him a very good Pokemon, for long and competitive battle. Plus, he can learn a variety of different and powerful moves. However its special attack is not so good, so the trainer have to practice a lot, to make it better. But still in overall it's a good Pokemon. Now number 6, Zoroark. It's a dark type Pokemon, introduced in generation 5 as the final evolution of Zerua. Since he is a master of illusion, with a great speed attack and special attack. Making him a very good attacker Pokemon, for competitive and long battles. Despite all this, as a purely dark type Pokemon, Zoroark has a variety of dark moves that it can learn as well. Such as faint attack and foul play. Plus, it can use his illusions as its advantage, by tricking opponents and makes a really good addition in any trainer team. Number 5, Greninja. He is a water and dark type Pokemon, introduced in generation 6 as the final evolution of Froakie. Since in water type ranking, I had put him in number 1 position. But not in dark type, because Greninja has used more of his water typing, instead of his dark type. But still it's have a variety of dark type moves, which can outstage various opponents easily. Plus his incredible speed and attacking power made him a very good Pokemon. However I think I need to confirm one thing, that I'm not talking about Ash Greninja, but I am talking about a normal one. Although number 4, Hydreigon. He is a dark and dragon type pseudo legendary Pokemon, introduced in generation 5 as the final evolution of Dieno. So a very powerful and brutal Pokemon, who can destroy anything that come in his path. As it's have a powerful attack, a great defense and he is terribly so fast. Which simply make him a destroyer, in any type of battle. However because of its typing, it's have a double disadvantage against fairy type moves. But still in overall, he is a powerful Pokemon in competitive, long and even in hard battles. Now number 3, Crocodile. He is a ground and dark type Pokemon, introduced in generation 5 as the final evolution of Sindile. Since he is also known as an intimidation Pokemon, because he never allow his opponent to escape. As with his powerful attack and speed, he brutally destroy his opponent. However he have a decent kind of defense. But with his some moves like Sandstorm, he could become a surprise attacker. Plus, it's even have access to some electric and fire type moves, that made him a very good Pokemon. Although number 2, Incineroar. He is a fire and dark type Pokemon, introduced in generation 7 as the final evolution of Litten. So a heal Pokemon, who could be very aggressive in battle. Since its attack and defense is great, and he can easily take down various opponents with the help of them. However its speed is decent kind of, but with his special ability he could increase his speed in battles. Plus, its Pokédex entry simply says that he mainly focus on attacking opposite opponents in an aggressive ways. 
So if any trainer controls him properly, he could be a very good Pokemon for competitive, long and even in hard battles. Now finally number 1, Tyranitar. It's a rock and dark type Pokemon, introduced in generation 2 as the final evolution of Lavitar. So a massive powerhouse Pokemon, with the incredible attacking power. Even it's known as a armor Pokemon, as its can take a lots of damage. Since according to its some Pokédex entries, it can even bring down a mountain, easily. And as a dark and rock type Pokemon, it's have a tons of powerful moves, which can outstage various opponents. However he is not so fast, but he not even need it much. As while standing at one place, he can take down his opponents. And thus in my view, Tyranitar is the strongest non-legendary dark type Pokemon. And now that's all for this video, I hope you guys had enjoyed it, so don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit that bell icon, to get more this type of related videos in future. Also be sure to check out my other ranking type videos, link of the playlist is in i button, and in the description box area. Now at last as always, your guys can follow me on my social media handles, like Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching.